All right. Now, if you recall, when we did the product and quotient rules, we did some problems where we were just given f and g, and, and um, we don't really know what those functions are, but we're given the values of the functions and the values of the derivatives at various points. So um, we're going to do something similar here as well. All right. So we're trying to find h prime of 1. But we're given that h prime of x is f of g of x. So f is the outside function, g is the inside function. And we know from the chain rule, right, h prime of x is going to be the derivative of the outside function, f prime of x, right, f prime. Um, and we leave the inside function as g of x. Okay, and then we got to multiply that times the derivative of the inside function, oh my gosh, of x. <laughs> okay, all right. So now, if we want h prime of 1, all we need to do is replace the x with 1 and then use the values that were given. We have f prime, f prime of g of 1, okay, times g prime of 1. All right, now we have g of 1, right? g of 1 up here is, is 2. So I'm going to replace that with a 2. And then g prime of 1 is 2. OK, now we need to evaluate f prime at 2. So f prime of 2, if I look back up here, it's f prime of 2 is 4. So I have 4 times 2, which is 2, which is. <laughs> All right, 2, 4 times 2, which is 8. OK, so there we go. We've done the first one. And the second one, now here we've reversed the two functions. Now g is the outside function, and f is the inside function. All right, we're just going to do the same thing. You just have to keep straight which one's the outside and which the inside function. So k prime of x. We're going to find k prime of x first. And I'm just going to use a chain rule. So the first thing I need to do is take the derivative of the outside function and leave the inside function as it is, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Now, let's find k prime at 1. So we're going to have g prime of f of 1 times f prime of 1. All right, so um, now we're just going to look up those values. g prime f of 1 is 1. OK, that's nice. <laughs> f of 1, or, yeah, f of 1 is 1. So, And then we're going to multiply that times um, f prime of 1. f prime of 1 is 3. 3. All right, now g prime of 1 is 2 times 3 gives us 6. All right. Oops. There we go. All right. So I think that's all there. <laughs> I'll meet you in the next video. I'm going to do another one where only this time the, the functions will be given as a graph. So I'll meet you in the next video.